another YouTube video. It is a new year, so I thought I would start a new video series. You're witnessing history today. Yes, you are. So if you guys are familiar with my other video series, Weird Stuff That I Own, uh, I'm making a new one. This one is called Weird Stuff That I've Made. So a lot of people have asked me about things that they've seen in my apartment tour or things that I've been wearing or whatever. And like, it'd be a huge video if I tried to talk about them all at once. It just wouldn't be possible. So I thought I would make a video series talking about mini things, like one at a time, things that I've made and telling you a little bit more about them. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you the very first thing that I'm gonna talk about. Okay, so for anyone who has watched my apartment tour video, this is the um, one of the tables in my bedroom. And uh, it has all this weird stuff on it. That's the headpiece from my birthday dress, a really bright lamp, some like dead things, whatever. So today I'm gonna talk about this. This is a very cool mask that I've made. I'm gonna grab it and get you some better light. Okay, so we're now in the living room where hopefully the lighting is a little better because the lighting is shit in this entire house. I'm so sorry about it. Anyways, you can see the headpiece sitting behind me there on the table in the sunlight. So this is the mask part. I'm gonna film it better for you in a second, but you'll probably notice that is a prosthetic eyeball. I was actually wandering around a flea market. This is how these things come to me. I'm always wandering around a flea market. And this, lady was like, hey, like I own a jewelry booth. I see you all the time. And like, this looks like the kind of thing you might be interested in. And she's like, someone gave this to me and it's like too disgusting. It's too gross. Like I can't sell it. So you can, ju you can just have it. You can just have it. And I was like, oh my God, thank you. And it's actually a real um, antique glass prosthetic eyeball. So I thought, wouldn't that be amazing if you could like make a mask and put it, put it in there. So I bought, I just went to the craft store and I bought like a, um, a blank, a full face blank mask. I drew out the shape that I wanted and I cut it out and then I started gluing things on it. So I'm going to flip the camera around and film this for you so you can see some of the little doodads on it. Hang on. All right, so here it is up close. So you can probably see there's like all sorts of different stuff on here. I've got like jewels. A lot of this is antique and not all of it. Um, there's some spikes, there's a bullet casing. That's a bullet casing right there, that. Um, this is like an old um, clip-on earring. Both of these are. I think they belong to like, I don't know, somebody's grandma maybe. A couple rosaries. I draped like a rosary off the bottom here. What else is on here? Some pyramid studs, some little skulls, some gears, all sorts of stuff. There's like a chrome cast, metal cast bird skull there. And then the prosthetic eyeball is obviously the selling point. And like you can see, come on camera, you can do this. Focus, focus. There we go. Look at all the detail. Look at all the veins and stuff in it. It's a little bit dusty, but like, isn't that totally amazing? All right, so here's the back of it. So this is the shape I cut out and I just put some fabric in there to like, you know, make sure the eyeball didn't pop through and like poke you in the face or something. So I'm just gonna show you how it goes on the face. So it goes like this. Let me just move my hand, see if you can see. Isn't that neat? That's how it looks when it's on the face. And it's obviously you have to stick it on with like spirit gum or uh, grooming tape. You can't elastic it on because that would look stupid. But like, I thought that was absolutely amazing. I was so, so pleased with the way it turned out. I hope you guys like it too. So there you have it. The uh, weird, cool prosthetic eyeball mask that I made out of like random shit. Most of my life is like honestly just making stuff out of like random shit. Like stuff you would never think to make stuff out of broken jewelry, things out of the garbage, like stuff that's sort of not gonna be used by anybody else. And I think that's really cool to be able to like give stuff a new life or use it in a way that it was never meant to be used. And uh, this mask I actually made to wear with this headpiece. Hang on, there we go. But I was gonna talk about them in the same video, but I don't think I will. It's getting too long and I wanna, I wanna give more insight into the, the headpiece, so I'm not gonna talk about that. Anyways, I hope you liked this video. Um, if you have any feedback on the mask, I'd love to hear it. Um, if you did, if you could give it a thumbs up, that would be amazing. If you wanna to subscribe to my channel, that would be even more amazing. If you wanna ring the bell, you can get notifications for when I put up new weird stuff that I've made videos. Um, if you've seen anything around in all of my videos and all of me talking that you wanna hear me talk about, let me know and I'd be happy to talk about it with you because I mean, God knows there's so much shit around here that like I could make this video series really, really long if I wanted to. And uh, if you wanna follow me on social media, I'm under Madame underscore Absinthe on Instagram and Twitter. Instagram is mostly like outfit pictures such as it is not super exciting today, but oh well. Uh, Twitter is mostly pictures of my makeup. 
and also like random shit that happens to me and work in progress. So if you want to see some of this stuff, like as I'm making it, Twitter's the place I put it up. So that's it. Please like, please subscribe, follow me on social media, ring the bell, and hopefully you'll be around to see my next installment of Weird Stuff That I've Made.